Ever since I started out in the world of work, I've been fascinated by different careers that people have. So I started out as an engineer and I was playing in a band with some guys who worked in the stores. So there was me with my fancy engineering degree and my career. And I just was fascinated by these guys who just worked in the stores and all they did was just turn up, do a job they didn't care about. And they used to live for their personal life. Work was just a way to earn money with the minimal effort. And I remember thinking, is that a good strategy? As I pursued my career and went up the management tree and had all sorts of stress and hassle and I've always remembered those guys from the stores so I've been thinking a lot about what type of career would give you maximum happiness and I actually think there are six types of career and they are strongly related to happiness and I think it's a good idea to think about what type of career you want to have even if you're halfway through your life now it's still a really good idea to question should I carry on trying to go up the tree and get to be the most senior manager or should I go self-employed so here are a few career related thoughts about happiness I'm making a whole separate course about planning careers and planning your life by the way so if you want to know more about this it will be in that other course but let's Let's have a quick look at careers now. So the first thing you could do is to set up your own company and build it up and sell it for millions. Now, I think this is a really high stress way to go through your life, but there are people who love it and there are people who are clever enough to do it. And that's one of my options. But I think there is a risk that you're going to spend most of your life under a lot of stress in order to finally get all that money. And we've seen already that having a lot of money doesn't make you any happier. So I would be quite suspicious of building up a company in order to sell it, unless you really enjoy doing that. If you don't enjoy doing it, don't do it because the money will not be worth it. There's also the classic career of just going up the management tree, trying to get to be the boss, be a director, be a chief exec. That's an option. But I also think that that's a lot of work and a lot of stress for years of your life. And for what? For a bit more money that won't make you happier. So again, unless you enjoy going up the tree, it's not one I want to do. I tried that and I thought it would make me happy because I could make more of a difference. I thought if I was more senior I could make more of a difference but actually what I found was that whatever level you're at you make roughly the same difference which is quite a small amount in an organization because if you get higher up you have a larger area of influence true but you have less effect on all those people because you're further back from them whereas if you're at the coalface delivering a job then you can have much more effect on just that job. So I would much rather run training courses myself than employ 10 people who all run training courses because I can't really control those 10 people. Whereas if I'm doing it myself, at least I can make sure I do the job the way I want to do it. So I found management fairly unsatisfying from the point of view of making a difference. So I think for happiness, a better option might be one of these three. The first one is to do a vocation, just do a job you love. So if you love teaching or if you want to be a doctor or if you love being an electrician or any job that you love, and of course it could be an artist, although the money's more of a problem if you're an artist, but if you've got a trade that you enjoy, I love doing training courses. So that's a vocation and the money may not be so good and you don't have power, whatever the point of power is, but you can do something you believe in and you can feel that you're making a difference. So I think a vocation is a career route to happiness. The second good option, I think, for getting happiness from your career is to just go for an easy life. Just do a job that's easy so that you can then put maximum effort into your personal life. So this is what the guys in the stores did. They just did a job that was easy, wasn't brilliantly paid, but never mind. And then they could put maximum time and energy into their family and the things they did in their spare time, which could be playing music, but it could be coaching a children's football team, or it could be amateur dramatics or gardening, whatever you want to do in your spare time. So work is just a vehicle to earn a bit of money. Now, I'm not entirely sure about this as a plan because it does mean that five days out of seven, you're doing a job you don't particularly care about. But if you can find a job that's fairly pleasant and quite easy and you're working with some nice people, why not? I think that will probably make you happier than having an ambitious career going up the management tree. My third career option that I think does contribute to happiness is to have a lifestyle business. So this is where you're a self-employed person doing some sort of trade. So I'm a 
self-employed training person. I travel around doing training courses. I don't have a boss. Nobody controls me. I just do what I like. And somebody like, say, a builder or an electrician or a plumber, they would have a lifestyle business. Or you might have your own little bakery where you're the only baker. You don't employ anybody else and you just make really good bread and you sell it in your shop every day. So some sort of a lifestyle business which is not aimed at building it up and selling it off because it depends totally on you. It's just you. I think that is a route to happiness. I really enjoy not having the pressure of employees, not having a boss. I don't have targets. I don't have sales forecasts. I just do my thing. So I think a lifestyle business is an option, but of course you can only do it if you want to be self-employed. So you can only do it if you've got some sort of thing you can sell and also if you're able to sell that thing. So you need selling skills and delivery skills. But if you've got both of those, I think a lifestyle business is excellent for happiness. Now, there is one more career type I haven't mentioned, and that's retire early. So work really hard, maximum stress in the short term, so you can retire early and have a big long retirement. And I think that is an option, but I think it's quite risky. Because what if you don't manage to retire early because it doesn't go the way you'd hoped? Or what if you do retire early, but then you don't really enjoy your retirement? What if it's too much of a shock to suddenly have nothing much to do? But if you've got a really good retirement plan, lots of activities that you want to do when you retire, and you know you're really going to do those things and enjoy doing them, then I think retiring early is a possible happiness career plan. The final thing I would say about careers is that your job is five days out of seven of your life. So if you can find a job that you enjoy, that is really, really important to your total happiness. Don't assume that it's okay to do a job that you don't enjoy because it's all going to be okay when you retire. Because retirement is a relatively short part of your life after all those years of working. You have to enjoy your job. And I'm going to say a lot more about happiness at work later on in this course. So those are my six types of career. Have a look at the downloadable list that I'll provide with this video and just have a think about which one would suit you most and are you already on that path? And if not, how can you change path?